Okay, in today's video, I'm going over what I sold today and yesterday. Also, I'm going to be showing you how I ship each item, what bags I use, and what size boxes for the shoes. The first was this jacket I sold. It's Prana. It's like a, a nice jacket. I saw this Indians jacket. Uh, JH Design. I saw this vintage Chicago Bears wool and leather jacket. Also a dope. I got that at the flea market. And then the shoes that I sold today. These right here are the purple breast cancer awareness Nike basketball shoes. These are size 14 Nike Ohio State Flywire uh, shoes. Yeah, I got these boxes at the grocery store. Um, like at, you can get them at Walmart or Target or Kroger or anywhere that just has a lot of supplies. Free boxes, you don't gotta buy any boxes. Unless, if you run out of UPS boxes, this is what I use. These are Nike Air Max 270s. Uh, I got these when I was in Florida, probably about a $10 average. I think they are $20 shoes, but $10 average for these shoes. So the bag that I use for this, this is a clear poly bag. I'll show you a picture of what I bought, how I bought it. Right here is on eBay. I paid $47 plus that was free shipping at that time. I believe it's got up in price. But yeah, these are the poly bags that I recommend using. They look professional and they keep your items safe if it does get wet when it's getting shipped. But I would like to have bags on these shoes if I weren't buying them. So you just throw them into a box. And if they need tape or if they need bags because they're dropping around, then you can put plastic bags inside of them. But those are good to go. Next pair of shoes I sold were these New Balance Velcro shoes. Uh, they were basically brand new, with no box. And then these right here, these Vans, I sold, I believe I sold these for $25 and $9 shipping today. Um, if they don't need a box and they fit inside a, a flat bubble mailer, sometimes I'll just do this and I'll still feel, I'll still feel comfortable. Because one, it fits, and two, it still is professional, and three, it's going to save money with, with shipping, because this is a flat rate bubble mailer, so I know for a fact that this will cost, I think, $8.75 at the moment, or $8, or between $8 and $8.75, but you know, don't butcher it like I'm butchering right now, but like that and you can throw a little piece of tape on it but sometimes the shoes fit perfectly inside those okay on to some of these shirts that I got sold but this is a jersey this is a uh, I believe this is a Reebok so this is a Washington Redskins jersey I throw them into this uh, poly bag this is a 10 by 12.5 poly bag I should also bought this on eBay for one time I bought for $25 free shipping and the next time it was $27 in free shipping but it comes in a box of 100 and I recommend these bags too because they're professional and they work well so all you gotta do is throw into a bag rip the top off and then it's ready for your shipping label um, the next thing is if an item is over one pound because this right here I'm putting it inside this the jersey inside this bag because it's less than one pound but if I have let's say these sweatpants say these are one pound two ounces I'm gonna have to put it into a flat into this flat mailer because it's gonna cost more you can't It'd be cost, it would probably cost less to put it inside this than it would this. 
so that's why if it weighs more than a pound, you're going to need to put in two bubble mailer. Like this right here. This cost, this weighs more than a pound, so it wouldn't make sense to put it in there. I'm going to put this like this. And that's going to save me at least a couple, I, I believe a couple dollars. At least, uh, at least a dollar. Sometimes 75 cents, sometimes two dollars. But yeah, um, that is a vintage Reebok uh, cowboy sweatshirt. This is a Lauren, Ralph Lauren wool, women's flannel. This is a 1992 White Castle kind of embroidered uh, t-shirt. These are Nike Team vintage sweatpants for Florida University. And yeah, that's everything I sold. Those are the bags I use. These, again, there are the eBay bags. Twelve, they're ten by twelve point five. Cost about thirty dollars. And then these plastic poly seal bags. They cost about fifty to sixty dollars for a thousand of these. And I recommend these as well. So with these jackets, of what I'm going to do for shipping, though, I'm going to take a jacket and I will fold it up. And then I'm going to put it inside one of these bags. And then I usually tie it up. Then I'll take from there and literally just put it inside of a box that will fit. And that works perfectly for how to ship a big jacket because they're not going to fit inside these bags. And I think by putting it inside of a plastic bag as well, it makes it look more professional. And sometimes when you have a box like this, that's like open just take another piece of cardboard and just lay it like this right here so that way it looks flat and then you also can put tape and you also put your your packing label right on top too if it doesn't if the cardboard doesn't fit and yeah that's how i'm going to ship these items i'm not going to put in the how i print off the packing slip in this video but yeah next step is going online, buying the packing slips, and putting them on. And then taking to the post office. Cool. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Okay, bye.